Today our discussion is about the presence of glucose in your urine. A trace of glucose in your urine is normal. Normal glucose range in urine not to 0.8 millimoles per liter or not to 15 milligrams per dl. If a random urine sample shows more than 0.25 milligrams per mil of glucose, this is considered as glycosuria and can be caused by two high blood glucose levels, a problem with the, within your kidney filtration or both. Glucose must be maintained in your bloodstream within a range giving a steady balance. When you are fasting, your blood sugar level drops to about 90 millimoles per liter and on average daily blood sugar level fluctuates with food but maintains at about 7 to 8 millimoles per liter. Too much blood glucose can damage your organs and nerves, whilst your body does need enough sugar for energy. Normally, the blood sugar is absorbed by the liver and 97% of the filtered glucose is reabsorbed in your kidneys through the proximal convoluted tubules. To be more precise, the kidneys reabsorb filtered glucose through the sodium glucose co-transporters, sodium glucose co-transporter SGLT1 and SGLT2, which are localized on the brush border membrane of the early proximal tubule, tubule with immune detection of their expressions in the tuberized Bowman's capsule. The liver helps maintain blood glucose levels in response to the pancreatic hormones insulin and glucagon. After a meal, levels of blood glucose rise and glucose enters the liver. This excess glucose is dealt with by glycogenesis in which the liver converts glucose into gly glycogen for storage. So both kidneys and the liver maintain your blood sugar level within the normal range under normal situations. When you exercise, blood sugar in addition is taken by the muscles for energy and that too helps to reduce and maintain your blood sugar level. So diabetics must exercise at least walking many hours a day to control blood sugar levels in addition to taking anti-diabetic medication. Why should some people pass excess glucose in the urine? There are three causes for this to happen. Number one, conditions with problems using or making the hormone insulin as in diabetes. Number two, conditions with the kidney where the tubules are damaged or other kidney defects. Number three, eating more sugars than body can process at once. Number four, those who are prescribed jardians and other SGLT2 inhibitors can increase glucose level in your urine and cause positive urine glucose test. Now let's talk about renal glycosuria. Renal glycosuria is a rare inherited condition where your body eliminates sugar in your urine even though your blood levels are normal. In this condition you don't have too much glucose but your body gets rid of it anyway. It is caused by gene changes that lead to defects in your kidney tubules where glucose is absorbed. Renal glycosuria usually doesn't have any symptoms 
and doesn't need treatment. Now let's talk about Fanconi syndrome and glycosidia. Fanconi syndrome is a general term for a defect in your kidneys that causes problems absorbing glucose. This can be caused by drugs, heavy metal exposure, not enough vitamin D and kidney transplant. It can also be caused by some genetic conditions including Wilson's disease, Dent disease, Loved syndrome. Now let's talk about elementary glycosidia. This results from eating too many carbs at a meal. Blood glucose level becomes abnormally high after eating. The glucose is passed into the urine and levels take longer to normalize. This is a temporary condition. Now, what are the symptoms of glycosuria? If you are tired, passing a lot of urine, feeling thirsty, losing weight and feeling sick, get your urine glucose level checked with your doctor. Treatment for glycosuria, this depends on the cause. If glycosuria is due to diabetes, lifestyle changes and anti-diabetic medication will control the situation. Hope you value testing for glucose in your urine if you feel tired and with the above symptoms mentioned. If you are a diabetic, try to control of blood sugar with medication, lifestyle changes and exercise will curtail the excretion of glucose in your urine. So stay safe and goodbye for now.